Living in the Netherlands, the pros and cons. It doesn't matter whether you're relocating for business, education, or just because you want a change of scenery, moving to a new nation may be stressful for a lot of people. Therefore, before deciding to live in Holland, you have to take into consideration a variety of variables, including the cost of living, the community, the school system, the level of safety, the availability of employment, and the environment. According to the third rule of Newton, which states that every act has an equal and opposing response, living in the Netherlands has both positive and negative aspects to it. Consider all of the perks of living in the Netherlands, then make a final decision about making the move there. Pros 1. High quality education The World Economic Forum places the Netherlands at the third spot on its list of countries with the highest levels of education. It is estimated that around 81% of persons between the ages of 25 and 64 have finished at least their upper secondary school, which is greater than the average for the OECD, which is 79%. If you are relocating with your children, you do not need to worry about their education, since pupils continue to gain knowledge and the capacity to read and write, as well as research, mathematics, scientific, economic and social skills. If you are relocating with your kids, you are already safe and secure. In addition, the school system in the Netherlands promotes you to grow in your chosen field of work. 2. Healthcare Having health insurance is a legal requirement in the Netherlands, and residents are expected to comply. As a result of the relatively high cost of the compulsory monthly payment for health insurance, a great number of individuals are unsatisfied with it. However, this is a significant perk of living in the Netherlands as a Dutch citizen. You will never have to spend a significant amount of money out of pocket to obtain medical assistance. This is a government benefit. Some people get the impression that they are throwing their money away since they don't need medical attention too often. However, once they reach the point where they need medical attention, they will get it. 3. A low rate of crime The Netherlands was classified as the 21st safest nation in the world according to the world's safest country ranking for the year 2021. However, your safety is not completely assured no matter where you go since you run the risk of becoming a victim of small crimes such as pickpocketing. When travelling to a new country, safety is a valid worry for everyone but it is particularly important for households with kids and women who are travelling alone. The Netherlands are a rather risk-free destination. However, you should stay away from places with a high crime rate and adopt the appropriate safety measures. Taking sensible measures such as securing your home and vehicle behind you when you leave, installing a burglar alarm and so on. 4. It's small and easy to get around. Because the Netherlands is not a very huge country, getting around to its many cities is not difficult. There is an abundance of public transit options obtainable in every given location, including railroads, buses, trolleys and metros. Because of its compact size, there is no need to engage in time-consuming travel while going from one location to another. The terrain in the Netherlands is mostly flat, which encourages inhabitants to adopt a culture of riding. If you invest in a bicycle, you'll be able to reach your destination on two wheels thanks to the existence of dedicated bike lanes. In addition, riding is good for your health and is better for the environment. 5. Having a high standard of living For both natives and foreigners, housing expenses make up a significant portion of the overall cost of living in the Netherlands. Prices in the Randstad, which includes the four main cities in the Netherlands, may be very expensive. Utrecht's rent is third highest in the Netherlands, behind only that of Amsterdam and The Hague. The cost of living in the Netherlands is higher than the average in the European Union. When separated by type, you'll find that transportation expenses and hotel and dining costs are much more than the EU average, but energy and gas are around average. However, there is a pricing disparity between rural and urban areas. Rent and groceries may be cheaper in rural areas, but getting around may cost more. 6. You won't have time to become bored. The laid-back attitude of cafes in this nation, as well as the summer music festivals that take place in parks and other public areas, are perfect settings for getting together with old friends and establishing new ones. There are also other cultural events that get a lot of support that take place throughout the year. During these events, museums and art galleries charge just a little admission cost to the general public. 7. Very clean 
the health category in which the Netherlands was evaluated had a high score of 91. Additionally, the nation did very well in terms of the quality of its drinking water and sanitation systems. Its system for managing solid waste is likewise exceptional and it has received a score of 100, which indicates that it collects and handles 100% of its solid trash. Because of all of these qualities, the Netherlands is a very clean nation that is also quite habitable. Cons 1. Accommodation In the Netherlands, there is a significant and widespread shortage of housing. As a result, it is possible that it will be challenging to locate a fantastic property at an affordable price. The rental of a private residence from a landlord is one possibility. However, the rates for private rentals are quite expensive since landlords are conscious of the housing situation and the majority of landlords utilize this to their benefit. 2. The current climate The Netherlands has a mild year-round climate because to their proximity to the ocean. Because of this, the harsh winters may be tolerated and the warm summer days can be enjoyed. On paper, the weather of the Netherlands, which is notoriously windy, rainy and uncertain, is often considered to be moderate. In point of fact, the coldest part of winter lasts from October until April, keeping the Dutch cooped up inside their homes for the better part of the year. If you decide to spend the day at a beach in the Netherlands, you should be prepared for the possibility that a heavy rainstorm may force you to sprint to your vehicle while wrapping yourself in your beach towel for protection. The climate in Holland is unpredictable in many different ways. Because of Holland's closeness to the North Pole, another one of the country's fascinating characteristics is that the sun doesn't set until 10pm throughout the summer. This quality does, however, come with a drawback. During the winter months, the sun sets at 4 in the afternoon. 3. The costs associated with driving tickets may add up quickly. The Dutch are known for their obedient behaviour. The norms and regulations that have been established are adhered to very precisely. Planning and organisation are taken very seriously since you are expected to notify the appropriate people if you are going to be late for any kind of meeting, no matter how informal it may be. The Dutch culture does not encourage or value spontaneity very highly. 4. It is challenging to create new acquaintances. Even though most Dutch people are aware of this fact, conversational English is not sufficient. You are going to need to educate yourself in Dutch since the majority of the descriptions, announcements, goods and parcels are all in Dutch. You are going to need to utilize Google Translate whenever you go to public locations like the grocery or railway stations until you master the local language. It is not simple to penetrate a Dutch circle of friends because Dutch people spend around half the year inside, curled up on their sofas in their cosy homes, and their lives are dominated by their agendas. You will understand this when you see how the Dutch spend their time. If you want to make friends in Holland, the greatest time to do it is in the summer. The Dutch are known for their warm and welcoming nature. When people start walking about in flip-flops, when parks are crowded with throwaway grills, and when tepid white wine is served in plastic glasses, it's time to mix and mingle. In general, people who live in the Netherlands have a great quality of life because the infrastructure is well kept, there is very little corruption, the crime rate is low, there is a healthy bicycle culture, a healthy work-life balance and relatively dependable services across the board. Even after considering all of the potential drawbacks, our research suggests that relocating to the Netherlands is never going to be an utterly terrible choice. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.